because you wake up the next day having been in this battle with someone and you wake up and you think, oh, I'm totally in the wrong. Hmm, now what do I do? So you go back to that person who you've been arguing with and say, well, what's your suggestion? But in mixed in all of this, what advice do you take and what advice do you throw out? The Theatre Curation Project was born in the spirit of stewardship over the art, craft, and history of the theatre. Its purpose is to curate these stories of our mentors and what they passed on to us to be a resource for future generations. Its goal is to preserve these stories and the lessons within them from being lost forever. Hi, my name is Benedict Campbell, or Ben. Uh, I'm an actor, uh, mainly in the theater. I've done some work in film and television, and uh, I've done a lot of uh, voiceovers for animation and commercials and things like that. Uh, when Jacob asked me to do this, I was sort of puzzled. I thought, God, who's, who's my mentor or mentors? Let me think. Uh, and I, <laughs> I'm ashamed to say I couldn't come up with anybody really. Uh, so I thought I better look at what other people are saying and what, what have they said about all of this and was stunned how so many people had this singular person or singular moment that uh, meant so much to them and I made me feel quite small or self-centered or something. And then I thought, but I, I know I'm not that all the time. Um, so what is it? And, and I, I think it's just that the way I've always viewed being in the theater and in shows and in rehearsal is the, the, the most important and most exciting part about being an actor is that you live in a world where expressing who you are and what you are is just an everyday occurrence. You're exposing yourself, not physically, not though that happens occasionally too, um, or in certain plays it does. Um, you, you know, you, you, you're giving yourself as much of yourself as you possibly can, or that you can reveal. I mean, there are parts of yourself you don't even know are there anyway. And I think that's where it's wonderful having the, the opportunity to work with other people who, who you see work in an extremely different way than you, but still come up with something that you consider absolutely first rate and believable and wonderful. And so I've always, the, the, my favorite part of the theater has always been the watching of someone else and seeing what that essence that they have and why don't you have that same essence? So you're in search of, rather than stealing little bits of business from people, you're trying to steal little pieces of essence of people, of why they approach things in a certain way, because you are always going to approach it the way you do. And sometimes that's not valuable for the part, so you have to like do a double stage thing of going, going into how someone else would play the same emotion, play the same emotion, the same thing, but it's coming from a different person. Anger from one person is completely different than anger from another. What is that, what is that quality? Where does it come from? And sometimes, most of the time, that's on the page for you and that's why you're concentrating on the words and the words giving you the information and seeking that knowledge from the words. But a lot of time it's seeing other actors and what they, how they actually perform something, how they get to a certain place. And a lot of times you don't agree with that. You don't agree with directors. You don't uh, agree with the design you have. But the argument of that and the discussion of that is the most valuable part along the road in some way. And learning from those people some of the most vociferous arguments I've ever had 
and defended my position to the nth degree are the ones that I learned the most about how to change something about myself. I think that's the hardest thing for all humans, but in the theatre it's uh, more dramatic, I guess. Because some of the advice that I have been given has been, in my opinion, been very good advice and helped me a lot. But maybe some other things that I've followed have been <laughs> disaster. And other things that I have not listened to have been the, was the key to me finding a new, new route for myself. I don't know if any of that makes sense. And it's kind of long-winded and unconnected, but... I guess what it means to me is that I have mentors on every show I've been in. And, and if I continue to work, I will hopefully have more mentors and people who are guiding lights for me. Um, I guess that's all I have to say. Oh, one thing I do have to say is... <laughs> If you want to see someone talk about mentoring in a in a totally original new way, watch Julian Richings a contribution on this website. Uh, it's really profound and really moving and has given me great food for thought, of which I will be preoccupied with in these COVID days wandering round rivers and and thinking. I hope that answered the question, Jacob. Anyway, I did rattle on a bit, but there we go. That's what I have to say. <laughs>